Hello. Um, pardon all this stuff I'm wearing on me. The scarf, the coat, the jacket, the gloves and everything. It's really cold in Amsterdam. But yeah, it's actually an exaggeration with my gloves on. I'm gonna leave the scarf anyways. But yeah, it's really cold in Amsterdam. That is my point. Anyways, today makes it one year that I have been in the Netherlands. I can literally remember on the 17th, I left my family to Abuja and my flight was by 8 p.m. on the 18th of December, 2021. And I flew, I had a layover in Istanbul and I arrived in Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, 8 a.m. on the 19th of December. And it's so funny because after one month staying here, I was like one month in Amsterdam, two months in Amsterdam, three months in Amsterdam, and it's already one year. I remember when I came outside the airport when I arrived, it was so cold and I was like, Jesus, I think I made a very terrible choice coming at this time because it was really cold. And just like I do tell people, like I breathed out smoke from my mouth. This is something I've only seen in movies. Just talking and breathing and then there was just smoke coming out from my mouth or air or whatever. I just felt like, wow, I've actually relocated to a very cold country. And then I went to my Airbnb and the rest they say is history. What's the point of this video? I'm making this video just to kind of capture the the different moments in my life and how I scaled through one year in the Netherlands and initially I wanted to make this just one video and talk about a lot of things but there is so much I want to share and I just think one video is going to be unnecessarily long and I would rather want to break it into different videos so I'll be making a series on my one year in the Netherlands and the different things that I want to cover in this series I have them written down first I want to talk about how I got COVID when I came to the Netherlands, I never had COVID in Nigeria and I came here and I had COVID. <laughs> but anyways, that's just that's just the minor part. But the main things I want to talk about in this series is how I got used to the weather because I mean it's really cold coming from a place of like 30 degrees Celsius average to a place where it's like zero degrees, minus one, minus two. Yeah. I had to get used to it. It took me some time and as you can see, it's still taking me a lot of time, but it's better anyways. I'll also be talking about how I got used to transportation and how I started biking in the Netherlands because the Netherlands is a country of bicycles. I'll also talk about how I got used to the culture and the environment. Some of the things in the culture and the environment that stood out to me, I'm also going to share it in that video. I'll be talking about how I found the church, how I also made friends in the church I found and also how I made friends outside the church. I'll also be talking about how I started going out more often. I used to be somebody who spent most of my time at home. I work remotely, everything I do at home. I have my PlayStation, I have my Netflix. So I was very used to staying at home in Nigeria. But when I came here, I realized that that was not really sustainable, especially being in a new country. Just being alone, after some time, it started affecting me. I don't think I was so depressed. But yeah, the loneliness started eating me up and I'm glad I started going out often and making out steps and also finding a balance between staying at home and going outside because I still enjoy staying at home. And I also talk about how my communication with my family and friends in Nigeria was. I'll also be talking about how my career was. Of course, I came here with a job. Um, a company hired me and they sponsored my relocation here. And if you'd love to see all the steps that were involved in my relocation from getting the job, getting the visa, relocating here, getting an apartment, all those things. I have a playlist for you on that topic and I'm going to leave a link to the playlist in the video description. I'll also be talking about my experience visiting other countries, of course, coming to the Netherlands, I've been to Paris, I've been to Belgium, I've even been to Czech Republic, yeah. Amazing cities, I'll have a video for that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I want to cover in this my one year being in Netherlands. It's going to be a series, like I said, I'll leave links to the several videos I make under this series in the video description so you can check it out. I am making all of these videos just so I can easily point back to a, diff a specific point in my life and see how I have progressed. And also in a bit of sharing all of this, I do hope that there is something you can pick from it. But in this video, I just want to quickly talk about my COVID experience um, before I call this video an end and I make the other videos. Yeah, I came here and my employer instructed that after five days I go for a COVID test. And I think that was actually the government rules because it was also the lockdown period. I went for a COVID check and on the 25th of December 2021 on Christmas Day, the results came and I was COVID positive. And I was like, wow, I never had COVID in Nigeria. And I come here and the first thing Netherlands chooses to use to welcome me is COVID. <laughs> Anyways, I was in isolation till the 1st of January. 
January. So I literally came out on the 1st of January. I was like, okay, COVID kept me back at home. So it's a new year now to finally explore this new country that I am in. But that's just the little story on um, COVID. Um, I didn't really have bad symptoms, but I just had some cold and a few other things. But anyways, yeah, I'll be making more videos. I'll be sharing them. So stay tuned, subscribe if you love to see those videos. But I think it's just really exciting to see how time really flies. This what one thing I really observed in this year was how time flew, like just flying steady. And I'm already one year in the Netherlands. Well, really an exciting point in my life. And it's also a moment of reflecting on how I scale through the year and in all, I thank God for the whole experiences, the highs and the lows. They complemented each other and I'm glad for where I am now. Anyways, stay tuned for the remaining videos I'll be making. Peace.